Greetings once again, spacefaring adventurers. Days Days Din back again with another episode of Eden Zero, where previously, after turning the rest of his friends into water, Wise was the only one available to take on one of the Element 4 of Draken Joe, Laguna. After a knockout dragdown fight, Wise was able to come out on top, but the moment he went to go and free his friends, another member of the Element 4, Fi of Fire, I I've been so used to saying Fi of Fire, well he snipes Wise from behind, downing our hero. Luckily, thanks to L Wise's efforts, everyone else is still freed and are able to come to Wise's aid. But this is a typical sniper tactic. Injure one of their allies to get the rest to come running. But Shiki's able to actually repel one of Fi's bullets, deflecting it right back at him. And before Fi can take another shot, Super shows up, throwing down a smoke screen in order to help out Wise. Meanwhile, aboard the Eden Zero, Everyone is informed of Wise's condition, and because Sister is busy interrogating Maria Slime, Rebecca is handed a specialized concoction that will be similar to Sister's healing ability, but in a can. And so Rebecca goes to race off and save Wise, but Rebecca finds herself engaged in a space battle against yet another member of the Element 4, Sylph of the Wind, whose wind ether is able to even work in space, making sure that no projectiles manage to get into Sylph's radius. It's only thanks to Rebecca's own ether gear ability, Leaper, that she's able to dash out of the way and race past Sylph. But in truth, this was a mistake, because the moment Rebecca enters into an unknown hangar, they find that Sylph has followed her and proceeds to trap both Rebecca and Happy with her wind ether. It was Rebecca to the rescue, but now she needs rescuing herself. And now, she can't get the aid to Weiss he so desperately needs. How will our heroes overcome this? Join me as I find out, won't you? Number 29, ah, finally getting to this. Where are we? Did we get sucked into something? We got that hard suck. We have to quickly deliver the medicine to Wise. Are we trapped here? I see. Alright. God, that can only be disorienting. Nothing but wind around you. I say it's like being trapped in a tornado, but you'd be dead. I love a good bit of reused animation. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bad idea. We'll use Leaper Fire. Oh, it won't even budge. No way. Don't bother. It's virtually impossible to break the wind cage from the inside. Hermit, can you hear me? Don't give me a response. That connection has been cut off. Piggy, please answer me. Yeah, it's a bad situation. You know, it's funny. I'm so used to series and anime where characters will be pierced and riddled full of like bullets and stab wounds and this, that, and the other, and they'll just fight through it. But in truth, you get shot, especially in the abdomen, you're not gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like even this series eventually gets to a point where they play hard and loose with what people can survive. But it's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it got his liver. I think. I was never the greatest when it comes to anatomy. Why, right, stay strong. I'll go over here soon with the medicine. Vicky, Rebecca, we're trapped. Can't. We're at material. What's wrong? I can't hear you well. Why is the medicine is here too? Rebecca, the communication is shut down. Did they run into some trouble? Vicky, there's been a problem. Something happened happened to Rebecca. The location is a drop-off gate number two. I sent the map to Tina. Ice's medicine is here too. And things keep going from bad to worse. Element four. Yep, Drac is special forces. I'm not interested in that. More importantly, why is he targeting Aiden Zero? Is it a special ship? Maybe that's why he wants it. No, I've done research on Drac and there's been no record of him seizing ships before. In fact, there's never a case when he sees valuable things without any reason. Although he's a member of the underworld, it seems like he's got his own presence. Principles. He has no mercy when collecting collateral or dealing with anyone who dares to threaten him. So isn't this strange? What did we ever do to Draken? What's his purpose for targeting this ship? Who knows? I really don't know. But after Master Joe talked with Master Noah, Ian Zero went from interesting to objective. Master Noah? Machine Starlight Adventures Guild? Yeah. So that bastard was connected to this after all. Yes, he was. For a number of reasons. Rebecca! Rebecca! Master over there. That's the medicine case. Damn it. Rebecca's not here. Where did she go? She's not responding. Alma, take the medicine for wise for now. Roger. I'll search around this area a little more. The wind is blowing. Wind. This reaction is ether gear. I knew you guys would come. Is that case important? Yep, it was bait. 
Is it there? Is it an enemy? Oh, Homura, I gotta tell you, I, I do love a lot of elements of this story arc, even though it, it stresses me out. That's my biggest problem. It, it really stresses me out, which shows how good of a story arc it is. But it really does end up showing just how in over our head our heroes have become. Because while they do get some wins, it is not clean victories by no stretch of the imagination. Which I like. Oh, there she is. I won't let you go. Yep. Gravity field. Nice. Disrupted the wind. My wind was crushed. These things here to me. Take the medicine to wise. Be careful. Hey, you. What did you do with Rebecca? Oh, my brother said was right. Huh? I haven't seen you since Gills. Yep. Another than Jin, the wind master. Brother and sister. Jin, what are you doing here? Line, stand back. I'll take care of him. Brother, my codename is Silf. Brother. Yep. The brother sister duo. And while they are called the Element 4, let's just say the siblings are a package deal. Where am I? It's funny. Jim being here, I never actually considered. It might also be the reason why Draken knew a bit of what to expect to a certain degree. Was I captured? Yes, indeed. Doesn't seem like it. My hands and feet are free. Doesn't look like jail. Hey, you woke up. Master Noah's young lady. <laughs> the rubber ducky. Let's chat for a bit. Draken Jim. Yeah, this... Could have quickly, quickly turned into another anime with this. <laughs> if you were looking at it from the outside, you might think so. Oh god, he's naked! Places the rubber ducky. on a drink. Where am I? My room. I don't have to introduce myself, right? But being so tense, I won't do anything. What do you plan to do with me? I want to talk. Nope, you can't touch him. That's a gun, right? Come on, give me a break. Don't make me break a gun that looks so cute when it's sleeping. Let me just clear up one misunderstanding. I have no intention of killing you. Of course, I won't hurt you either. I heard about you from Master Noah. You're the B-Cuber Rebecca, right? Master Noah sold us out? You can't trust a guy like that. Why are you guys targeting the Eden Zero? It's because there's something precious on that ship. Something precious? Tell me. I want to show you something. And your clothes were ripped, so I prepared for you. You to a chain. Step out of the room once you're ready. Gotta love a villain who gets in control. What should I do, Happy? I wonder. If I has got the medicine, what am I supposed to do with this situation I'm in? My codename is Sylph of Wind. I'm Sylph of Element 4. I'm not supposed to disclose my real name, brother. Element 4. Fine. She's after that woman that ran off with the case. Use my real name again. I won't let you go. Master. Ooh. Yeah, Jin ain't playing around this time. Damn, you're with me. You're also one of the Element 4? I'm just a mercenary. I'm for a track of special forces. They're four fighters that represent fire, wind, water, and earth. Assisting one of the members, Klein, is my job right now. He was calling you brother. You two are siblings? None of your business. <laughs> it's funny because you got Sylph out here just disclosing that they're siblings and telling Jin not to reveal her real name while Jin just throws around her real name. But he seems like... They shouldn't inquire about them being siblings. It's just like, dude, don't mischief running you guys. Does mischief running you guys with blood? Tell us where Rebecca is. Oh, he you knows your moves. You're gonna have to get creative, buddy. Your ether power hasn't changed. But ever since we battled at Illiga Tower, I guess that's normal for a regular human, but I'm different. Bye bye, Master. Ma by modifying my body, I have powered up 320% more than the last time we met. Statistically, that's not possible, but anime rules. Let me show you. This is either gets true power, the overdrive. Uh, uh, he says that. You brought your gun with you? I guess it can't be helped. He's happy. He's my friend. Don't worry. I won't take him away from you. Follow me. What do you want? Look at this. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot less gruesome than in the manga. It's still pretty bad, given her state, but, uh, do I feel bad? Yes and no. I mean, she's alive. <laughs> I'm not that terrible a person. Even if she has been. Lobelia. Why is Lobelia here? What's going on? Lobelia. Hey, what did you do with Lobelia? As you can see, I punished her a little bit. This woman put you through a lot of grief, right? But you gotta love that this is his way of getting in her good graces. Thinking that she'd appreciate something like this. It, it, I, 
Dracula Joe is one of the better villains. Because of just how twisted the dude is. Like, more so than a lot of villains. Like, like, man. Dracula Joe really was, like, peak Mashima writing. He really knew how to create a villain you just could hate. Is it amusing to make fun of me? Yes, very. You have no talent, so stop being a beekeeper. Says poor flower soup over a girl who got carried away and became full of herself. Yeah, and... See, you can see that she was caught right after this, too, because she's still wearing the same outfit. I didn't notice that in the manga. It was humiliated while cosplaying as a little girl's anime character. Now she's standing stock still. She's so lame. Hmm. Look at the state she's in now. This is my gift to you. And she will be joining our side starting today. What do you mean? I told you. There's something precious on Eden Zero. That's you, Rebecca Blue Garden. Or should I call you number 29 instead? But I remember that reveal. To put the interlude this far into the episode, Jesus. But I, I remember just speculating. Number 20 what does that mean? Uh, I, for a second, I th thought she was an android just because of, like, number 29. Okay, is she an android? But no, we've seen her grow up. Literally. But then again, that doesn't mean much when you really think about it. Oh, Homura, number 29. What do you mean? You don't need to know yet. Oh, yep. Yeah. Turn it to water. Oh, yeah, his alchemy ability. His glass once again. Alchemist, the power to transform material. That's my ether gear. I keep forgetting about that. I, I really do a lot of times forget that actually is his ability. Alchemist. Stay there for a while. I have work to do. You can punch, kick, or do whatever you want to that woman. Get back at her for all that she's done to you. How can I? Just don't kill her. People are asset. Even the worst jerks bring in the money. Again, like, it shows how twisted he is. Look at it. I'll save you right now. That sure. Go brutal. Nope. You can't take those off. Yep. Yep. This is the one I hate the most. Really hate this guy. I was told to keep an eye on you. I'm gonna keep watch so that you don't kill that woman. And not let you escape, of course. I'm Daichi, a member of the Element 4. Do you want chocolate? Wasn't sure how to take this guy at first, but uh, he's the worst. I hate him. I hate him. There's always one in each arc. This is my one. No? Number 29 doesn't like chocolate. How do you call me? Number 29. Anyway, take a look at this instead. It's a come of coin I got for not torturing anyone for 60 days. I got this at group 30. Therapy. Isn't it amazing? I was saving myself for torturing others for 60 days. Fort grew for torture addict. <laughs> right. More importantly, you did horrible things to Lavelia. This girl? That doesn't count as torture. All I did was knock her around a little. Even at group therapy, everyone says that this doesn't count as torture. No torture is. Ah, uh, I can't hold back anymore. I controlled myself for 60 days. A little torture won't be so bad, right? I want to torture her. But look, a pretty girl like this is held in chains. It's only natural have the urge to bully her. I think, mm, oh yeah, I I actually forget that this is his ability. What is his branches are growing from my arm? I've been ordered not to hurt number 29, but I can't control myself. God, I hate that guy. What a strong wind. His ether line has become three-dimensional and it's floating. The wind speed is 58 meters per second. It's, ver it's a very strong typhoon. Oh no, you know. You know, grab onto something. Wind and gravity. This is my power of overdrive. Gravity. Ball. That's a Daimek ninjutsu attack. Windstorm slash. Bam. Ooh. Dang. I wasn't more of... I wasn't much of a slash. More of a blast. Master can't get close to him. He's like a different person. My wind obstructs everything. And... Klein's wind. Captured. I think that's what he's gonna say. As I say hidden, especially ever since everyone's after us. Found you. I'm not used to seeing her use this ability nowadays. So I forget she can do this. I won't let you go. Oh, skirt. What is this indecent wind? <laughs> Alright, but I'm in a rush. Oh, oh. My ether sword. I actually, gotta be honest. I don't remember their fight that much. Actually, I don't even remember too much of what happened in Shiki and Jin's fight. So, yeah. I'm not saying it didn't leave an impression. It's just so much other stuff has happened. Lines when steals all things. That's what this is. God. Yeah, this is how most of Homer's fights go. Somehow. Some way, her clothes get removed. I forgot that because there was one where Mashima didn't do this. Her clothes being taken away. Confirmation that Homura does not wear a bra. It was so indecent. Next, I'll steal your entire body. Yep, big trouble. <laughs> 
with the chocolate. I swear to God, I hate you, Daichi. The wife's just battling for his life. <sighs> situation just keeps going from bad to worse. But yeah, like, I remember in the manga, seeing Lobelia all tied up, and there was blood in the manga, too. On the wall, mostly. Not so much on her, which paints a whole nother picture on top of things. And she had a lot of cuts and this, that, and the other. It more or less, lo less looked like somebody went at her with a whip. And, mm, see, I I'm not, I'm just not a fan of that kind of stuff, dude. I mean, if both parties are into it, hey, you do you, but... Uh, and I remember thinking too, it's just like, okay, element four. Okay, we just have to deal with four of them and we dealt with Laguna, so we might be okay. And then Jin pops up and it's just like, mother out there. It's like every time I think we're at the end of how many people Draken Joe has on his side, here comes another one. But I'm pretty sure that's it. That's <laughs> what I can remember. It's three major enforcers, the Element 4, and then Jin. So we met all members of the Element 4. Out of them, not counting Jin, because he's not a part of that. I remember that Laguna was my favorite, then Klein, then Phi, because Phi, I thought he was going to be cooler than he ended up being. He's alright. And then at the bottom is Daichi. Always at the bottom is Daichi because fuck that guy. But this whole story arc does a great job of really making Draken Joe a monstrous villain and just A plus stuff right there. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you think about this episode? Also remember to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I've been Dudes Dudes Den and I hope to see you later. Till then, bye bye.